The death of George IV. In 1810, the eldest son of George III assumed the role of Prince Regent, as George III was incapacitated and deemed unfit to rule. Despite George III being the longest-lived and reigning British monarch of his time, his son, who would later become King George IV, took charge of England's affairs. However, George IV's later years were marked by declining health, excessive weight gain akin to Henry VIII, and heavy drinking. His deteriorating condition led observers to describe him as wasting away, resembling a sausage overstuffed into its casing. The story of King George IV's agonising demise is a fascinating one, which we'll explore in some detail. George IV, the eldest son of George III, earned a reputation for his indulgent lifestyle, particularly his fondness for women and wine, starting as early as 17. Despite his father's disapproval, George IV secretly married Maria Fitzherbert in 1785, but their union was deemed invalid due to the royal family restrictions. To resolve his financial troubles, he entered into a loveless marriage with his cousin Caroline, from which they separated shortly after the birth of their child. Following George III's incapacity, George IV assumed the role of regent in 1811 maintaining many of his father's ministers. Despite internal turmoil, Britain ultimately prevailed over Napoleon in 1815, and upon ascending to the throne, George IV faced challenges from Caroline, who sought recognition as Queen Consort. Despite efforts to strip her of her rights, the bill was never voted on by the Commons. George IV's coronation in 1821 was opulent, marked by extravagant displays of wealth and power, and despite his lavish lifestyle, George IV was known for his patronage of the arts and intellectual pursuits, evidenced by his projects like the Royal Pavilion in Brighton and the restoration of Windsor Castle. However, his reign as regent from 1811 and subsequent ten-year rule as king were met by personal and political challenges, ending with his death in 1830. George's reputation was divisive, with some expressing little regret for his passing, while others knew him personally held a favourable view. Throughout his life, George indulged in lavish feasts, which contributed to his significant weight gain and subsequent health issues such as gout. Despite his physical decline, portraits depicted him more favourably than reality, with Queen Victoria later remarking on his greasy appearance. In his final years, George suffered from various ailments including rheumatism, dropsy, arterial hardening and possibly early stage dementia. Confined to Windsor Castle, George spent his days bedridden and struggled with breathlessness, eventually requiring assistance to move him around and becoming increasingly reclusive. Efforts were made to shield the public from witnessing his deteriorating health as he battled blindness in one eye, bladder pains and relied heavily on medication. By the spring of 1830, George's condition worsened, rendering him nearly blind and mentally confused, yet he persisted with a hearty appetite and a desire to live. Despite his ailments, George maintained a colossal appetite, consuming elaborate breakfasts followed by medication to manage his declining health. Witnesses marvelled at his resilience under such trying circumstances, and as his final days approached, George dictated his will and turned to his faith for solace, expressing remorse for his past and seeking mercy in his final moments. Unable to recline, George IV struggled with a cough, privately acknowledging that his condition was reaching its conclusion. On the evening of the 25th of June 1830, he fell seriously ill while seated in a specially adapted chair, supported by a friend, Sir Jonathan Waller. Despite his physician being absent, Waller remained by his side, providing comfort as George IV sought reassurance. After briefly waking at 1.45am for his medication, he later requested his night chair at 3am, feeling faint and needing fresh air. Recognising his impending demise, he closed his eyes and peacefully passed away at 3.15am, following a troubling bowel movement. 
An autopsy revealed that George IV succumbed to upper gastrointestinal bleeding from a ruptured blood vessel in his stomach, along with the discovery of a sizeable bladder tumour and cardiac abnormalities. He was interred in St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, a place that he cherished deeply. George IV was succeeded by his brother William IV, known for his excessive eating and drinking habits, which contributed to his weight gain throughout his life. Despite being portrayed as slender in many paintings, he faced health challenges and spent his final days in seclusion at Windsor Castle. Today, he rests alongside other monarchs in the royal vaults, including the late Queen Elizabeth II.